the department with a history of uh, let me just read the history a slight loss uh, of vision in the left eye which is progressive query optic neuropathy so there is a ct scan volumetric that got done and i'm going to show you this is a volumetric ct scan that got done and that is the ct you are seeing history of slight loss of uh, left eye vision which is progressive and uh, they are querying the optician is querying any uh, demyelination or compressive lesion or any pathology that explains the left eye vision change i will change the window a bit There's for you hypodensity at the left basal ganglia i assume and yeah so so you see a low attenuation in the left basal ganglia yes. in that region what what else you want to see remember whichever study you have you have to get the maximum out of that study what else would you see you would change the window to look yeah. at the bones you would look at you know you can see here the orbits you want to see the orbits so you get the maximum benefit out of that study you look at the optic canals and the clannard process and you want to see there is nothing in the sinuses so all those things you want to see while the ct is there okay so what will you do now um and what do you think first what do you think and the second what are you going to do now this is the ct that has been given to you can we go through this scan again please I want yeah to no problem no yeah. problem at all yeah, carry on. You keep speaking so that I know what you're talking and thinking. I'm trying to look at the cavernous sinus. But... Cavernous sinus, here you got. This is the cavernous sinus. Is it a little bit, the left one, hyperdense than the right, or is it just technical? I think, yeah, remember, this side is a bit up than the other side, yeah. so you may yeah. expect a bit asymmetry. Okay. But a good good thinking that is it real, not real, but then you look at the asymmetry and try to justify is it okay, so I will help you here in view of the time. I'll help you that what you see here is that there is um, low attenuation here in this yeah. area. Uh, okay. there is no CSF visible, low attenuation change. And the rest of the findings we discussed, nothing in the orbit. So you tell the examiner, I can't take this further. However, I suspect there is a problem in this area and we should consider uh, an MRI because the patient is losing uh, vision fast and we want to see what is going on in this region. Hmm. Yeah, correct? Yeah. Okay, so... The MR gets done, and this is the T2 that you see. So here is the top going down. Okay. So this is axial T2 uh, of the brain. Um, there is uh, a lesion that is uh, appears mainly T2 hyper intense, in, mainly centered in the supracellular uh, area, um, is playing the... Uh, circle of Willis vessels around it, extending into uh, interpeduncular area and the uh, floor of the third ventricle. Up, I think it's pushing the floor of the third ventricle up uh, and exerting mass uh, or compressing. There is a, a secondary edema in the uh, left uh, medial temporal lobe and left basal ganglia. 
Okay, so, so again, as I said to you, you have to determine the three things in the brain, on the dura, outside the dura. Okay, mm. so the, remember, in the cord you have got the intra uh, intramedullary, intra uh, intradural, extramedullary, extradural. In the brain, it is in the parenchyma, arising from the dura, or outside the dura. This is for tumors. So, mm. what do you think? It is. I is think... it arising in the parenchyma? Is it outside the parenchyma, or is it totally outside the brain? Outside the parenchyma, but inside the dura. So, are you adamant that you're going to only look at this axial section and you're not going to look at any other section in your day to day no, practice? I That's would, how you no, do No, I would check like the uh, T1 and I would check the flare. So, or... here you go. So, you have to ask the examiner, I would want to see a sagittal or coronal or some other view. You know, this is my day to day practice. Yeah. So here you go. Okay. Uh, again, there is a mass centered in the suprasillar area, mainly a hypo intense uh, signal on T1 with anterior uh, solid component uh, seen anteriorly. Uh, the pituitary gland is seen separate from the mass. Um, the mass is. Uh, can we move more? Yes, please. Uh, pushing the floor of the third ventricle, uh, or is it extending down from the third ventricle? Yeah, so what will, so sum up this, this sequence. So what you said to me that it is separate from the pituitary gland, yeah. it is extending in the floor of the third ventricle. What else did you say? Uh, mainly uh, cystic with anterior solid component. Anterior uh, yeah, solid component, cystic. Uh, what is the other may very important structure here that you have to determine is it arising from it or not? The uh, hypothalamus and the mammillary bodies? Maybe? No. The no. optic chasm. Remember, the yeah. optic chasm goes, you are blind. Yes. So you have to determine which, where is the optic chasm. Is it arising from the optic chasm or it is displacing the optic chasm? That's a very crucial question for the surgeon. Okay, can we... Uh, so how will you def differentiate? Can we have a coronal? So we have a coronal. Here is the post-contrast coronal. Okay, so... No, are we moving? Okay, we're moving interiorly now. Okay. So... so. Going back. Basic question. Yes. Basic question. Is it arising at the planum or is it arising in the, above the cella? Because your your thought processes will change. Yes. Uh, I will give you the sagittal as well. Yes. So where is it? No, it seems to be centered at the sphenoidum planum. Yeah. Okay. Not so. What is the lesion that arises at the planum? Well, it can be uh, meningioma. Uh... Yeah, so meningioma arises at the planum, but is it really arising at the planum? Because solid and cystic like this is not the I meningioma. Craniopharyngioma mode. Um... Correct. You, you, the other very important differential is the craniopharyngioma in this. And what is the other? How will you separate the optic chasm with a T2? You will, uh, if you look at, me. you follow the, this is your optic track, optic yes. track, it is being displaced. And then you try to look at here, you try to look at where is the optic oh, nerve yes. going, optic nerve going, it is separate. And the chasm, this is your chasm, okay. it is. This is your ACA, so it's ele it is elevating the chasm on the side. And yes. other thing important is, it is not sitting on the plenum. There is a cystic part which is touching, but the main epicenter of the tumor is in the it's suprastellar it. region. And it is causing edema in the... Left uh, basal ganglia and medial 
Correct. So, what is what by virtue of location and this scan being young looking patient scan, solid and cystic, what becomes your main diagnosis? Craniopharyngioma. Correct. Well done. That is how it works. So, it's a craniopharyngioma. But to the examiner, you will, in your description, you will say, when you have separated the op optic chasm, you will say, I've separated the optic chasm, so it is not arising from the optic chasm. Since it is, the epicenter is in, in the floor of the third ventricle, supracellar, and it only touches the planum, so it, and it is cystic uh, with some solid component. This does not have a primary feature of a meningioma. So see how... In my description, I am touching the differential, but negating it as well. That I've thought about it, but I do not think it is. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, you can say that the, I can separate the circle of villus vasculature, so it is not a thrombosed aneurysm. So this mm -hmm. means you have thought about it, but you have negated it. So you have given the differential, but said, no, this is not the, the case. Okay. So what will you do? Uh, I will inform the uh, neurosurgery team uh, so that uh, they, uh, and uh, so that it can be discussed in the MDT to discuss the, the, um, like excision or uh, surgery to be done. Okay. Um, Dr. Sami, do we have a time for a small quick case? Please go on. Okay. Because uh, I think this uh, girl needs, uh, uh, candidate three needs a bit one more case. Okay. No problem. <laughs> 